enjoy the open channel okay so what came to me before we start is uh, hi Celia so what came to me before we start is a lot of energy of compassion okay a lot of energy of compassion and it's funny because it feels like we need this energy of compassion towards who we are for sure we need it for others but it just feels like we're lacking of compassion for ourselves and I really received um, the goddess of compassion before we started so I just wanted to share that with you uh, anybody's feeling that so let's 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 go into the subject of the day then okay so you can you can take a meditative um attitude i would say which is really sitting down start to breathe very deeply to just realign yourself really I don't want you to leave for a very deep meditation, but I want you to feel what is 5D. What is 5D? It's real now. As I said in the post um, yesterday, it's not woo-woo. It's not a dream. It's not what we have read in spiritual books for so many years. It's reality. And it's true that it came through the pandemic that we are changing and shifting and going to 21 into the 5D living in a bit traumatic uh, way, but uh, as human being, we we cannot judge how change is coming to us, and that's super important. Uh, we are always used to judge the the change in our lives, and and actually, a very very big asset, spiritual asset would be to visualize whatever we have lived in 2020 which is very traumatic and stressful and without judgment without saying oh it's a horrible year it's the worst year we have ever, ever had and you can read that everywhere so first thing is really to say okay i'm a spiritual being on my spiritual path how can i visualize what's going on how can I just let go of all the negativity that we have accumulated in 2020? Uh, because it has been traumatic for the whole planet. And on a human level, it is traumatic. But on a spiritual level, how can we shift? How can we let go of all this weight we have been carrying around for a very long time? And in 2020, it's just epitome. It's just acceleration of this consciousness which was really ruled by male dominance but you know it's not about male dominance totally but it's about ego dominance it's about living the reality through your ego and not through your soul and 5d is bringing us towards something very different right 5d is really embodying your soul in your everyday life it's about waking up and saying what is my day what am i offered to experience today am i offered to run and forget who i am or am i able to sustain that really incredible and beautiful energy i have inside myself what my morning is bringing to me right so breathe in now very deeply through your nose and just feel that we are receiving right now an energy from the channel through the nose, inside yourself, inside your lungs, inside your body, inside your whole body and inside your auric field and just breathe out the tension that you have accumulated today and breathe in this very beautiful energy coming from spirit, the goddess energy. So your nose and release the tension that you have accumulated today, but also this week. All the stress of the last week, all 
the change that has been really coming to us have really triggered a lot of fears in us and it's totally normal. So I would like you to just breathe in very deeply this energy of the goddess and feel it's just permeating everywhere inside yourself. And breathe out from yourselves and breathe out consciously the tension that you have really gathered in yourself in your cells but it's coming from the vision of your life it's coming from your consciousness of what you are living it doesn't come from your life it doesn't come from the events that were happening in your life it comes from your consciousness which is very different and that's where we're going to step into 5d living what does it mean it means that when you leave something an experience an event if you see it through the scope of your human life and your ego life and your personality which is like for example something bad happened in your job then what you're gonna say you're gonna say yes uh, it's failure it's this it's that it's a bad client it's a bad day blah 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 but actually if you switch your consciousness to a higher level of who you are what is happening first of all you're shifting your energy and that is a work you know of breathing of conscious breathing of meditation and then what happened what is it you changing gear you just looking at life at a higher level of your consciousness so you are shifting you are breathing and you're connecting to your sacred heart and I, you know i gave you so many techniques in my meditations and and i'm always there to give you techniques so what happened is like suddenly you just shift your consciousness in your heart your breathing is really washing away the tension the low consciousness and what is happening you are then revisiting your life with different eyes different mind different consciousness and then you are able to sit in a distance sit back and say okay what is this even want to tell me what is this life what what life wants to tell me because your soul is always ever always present in the background waiting for you to sit down with her and say what is going on okay i'm losing a client okay what does it mean is is it important yes it is important but it doesn't have the same meaning in your ego in your human shelf self than in your mind of the soul so and this is 5d living is like shifting from one vision to another vision and what we are going to leave in 2021 is this shift of consciousness is like leaving the pain leaving the way we look at life what we lose is not against us is for us whatever happens during your day is just pushing you more to who you are and who you're going to transform into into your future so 5d living is more about your soul being present and inviting your soul in each and every moment of your life and for sure you won't be happy it won't happen in a second it won't be suddenly oh my god i am living in 5d and my soul is always present it's a work it's a progress and it's a process and uh so the technique is always a simple so whatever you do yoga tai chi uh, meditation kundalini yoga 
all these techniques and each each being is really uh, attracted by uh, a ritual a technique and that's all great and fine but all these rituals brings you bring you to connect to your soul and when you connect to your soul it's like you are driving your life with grace listening to life marrying the flow of life it's like the boat that is really receiving the wind and enjoying the wind not going against the wind so it's it's a very beautiful shift we are going through but yes it doesn't show right now like that so what is very important now and now because we are in the pre-solstice period it would be so what is beautiful now is this process and i will really advise you to start receiving this 5d living in your life and connecting to your soul every morning having a moment with your soul and inviting your soul to really be present and enjoy every moment whether it's you know eating bread or it's just looking at the sun or feeling your intuition and just start receiving and start having a dialogue with your soul uh, on a very tiny level and the more you invite and you embrace the energy of your soul in your day-to-day -day life the more you will understand get it the more your consciousness is going to shift and for you it will be just a habit that you're going to take and you that that's why a lot of people ask me why you feel so graceful joyful blah blah because I am working on connecting to my soul as much as I can, because I know that's where I thrive. That's where I feel good. That's where I have high energy. And then I have a lot of recipe for that. And I'm ready to give you my recipe because I'm not, uh, you know, it's, it's about sharing, right? So the solstice is really an acceleration of that soul living, that 5D living. So. What is happening on every day is like your body is um, your body and your soul are going to marry very differently than before where you consider your body as a piece <laughs> and your soul somewhere inside yourself where actually your body and your soul are just one and whatever you do you move you feel you sense is marrying the soul but it's just a matter of awareness it's not um, it's not something you need to plug uh, with a plumber is constant is eternal is already there it's just that we are born in a world where separation is the definition you know we're separate from the body we're separate from the soul we're separate from people we're separate from nature well, we, we feel so disconnected from everything that at the end of the day, it's not a surprise that everybody is feeling depressed or anxious, right? So it's, it's 5D is a matter of integration, reintegration of who you are na naturally. You are a whole, you are a whole being and your soul and your body have a constant discussion because they mirror each other because the soul and body in the body and the body is talking to the soul all day long and we are in the middle but we forgot this we're kind of oh i cut the body from me and i cut the soul from me and then you are in different pieces but actually you are called now to say okay guys we're gonna shift we're gonna wake up and we're gonna live integrated as we are really naturally and that's why there's no surprise that the body is always showing so many things and by surprise or by accident or where actually if you feel and you think in an integration mind in integrative process of who you are you will realize how much your body is talking for your soul and how much your soul is talking for your body 
So the integration of body, mind, soul is really like the first step to 5D living. And that's why I really, I'm really uh, a big advocate for the senses. So what I always say is like your senses are part of this integration and they are the kind of the communication pieces where I smell, I, I, when, when you use a sense, you think it's on your body, right? Or you were taught like that. But actually, it's like your soul spying on earth. It's like everything you taste, you hear, you smell is directly connected to your soul. And, and that's how your soul is, is really getting the information from physical life, right? So your senses are not separate from your spirituality. And I really advise you to feel your life, to, to feel all the senses and, and to feed your soul with your central living, with your food, with your music, with your dancing, with your creativity. I think there is a dialogue again between the soul and the body through your, through your senses. So that's something I want to tell you and 5D living will enhance your sensitivity and uh, the more you are awake spiritually, the more uh, life on earth will be vibrant, will give you more messages, will give you more feedback, um, like the soul will be present with you and the senses will nourish the soul though so the communication will be heightened the sense will give you so much more so when you hear music for example that's a great example when you hear music it has a stronger deeper impact into your life because you're connected to your soul and music is about vibration and soul is about vibration so when you hear music it's just, it's, it's not a simple pleasure. It has a lot of impact. It has a lot of big pleasure, bigger pleasure, bigger impact. Transform yourself, transform your vibration, connect to your soul and so on and so on. So it's totally, what it's totally incredible, basically. You know, some days you hear music at a very higher level level and someday music doesn't reach you because in that, in that moment you were not in the opening you were not in your soul you were more you know working on something in your mind or busy or worried which is a big one well so i hope um you are getting all of this um so i, I i'm talking about that because i want to tell you that the solstice is coming to really kick off that program in you the reintegration between your body your mind your soul and it's not anymore it will be a choice not to integrate and i'm totally fine but it's it's such a pity because life on hers will be heightened in terms of sensuality at all level And the soul will really react to your central living in a very different way. I truly believe when you smell a rose or you eat a very good apple, it's not only a physical moment. It's a central moment, but it's a message moment. It's it's a exchange of energy between Mother Earth and yourself. So this is all about 5d living is it's about integration and it's funny because 5d is a step towards ascension uh so before i'm, I'm not going to talk too too long but what i want to say is that the step towards ascension is 5d for sure so what I want to tell you is that the more you raise your vibration and, your, and you open your consciousness, the more you will feel what is going on 
around you and actually you will be more aware of your physical life the more you're spiritual the more you're present the more you're spiritual the more you're grounded the more you're spiritual the more you can feel and see and smell what's going on in this life of 3d but actually we thought the opposite what did we think we think like oh my god spirituality meditation prayer blah blah this is all somewhere far away in the clouds in my soul somewhere but actually no if spirituality is not integrated into your physical life it goes nowhere it's not ascension it's illusion it's delusion sorry so it's it's no worse meditating and having a good moment if it doesn't integrate in your life it doesn't embody in your life in your action in your reaction to the world you know if you meditate one day long you have an amazing experience and the minute you finish you go and you have you you doing you just live from your ego why i mean <laughs> a lot of effort for nothing you know where if you integrate this energy into your day-to-day -day life, what happens is that you bring your body to a spiritual experience and you and bring your soul to a physical experience. And this is ascension. Ascension is the pure embodiment of your soul in this reality. So we're not going anywhere in another planet with our soul when we say ascension. We're just using the full, incredible, immense potential of our physicality, of our physical living, which is using all the senses, the creativity, the exchange of love between beings, compassion, gratitude, ecstasy of the moment. And I'm telling you, there, there is nothing more ecstatic than living that kind of life when you you just dialogue with your life and your soul and everybody's dialoguing and having conversation and we're choosing all together what's the next step living in the moment living day by day this is ecstasy and i don't i don't believe in other ecstasy than that and we are offered that and 2021 which is soon is offering that 5d living so voila so anyway i wanted to say a few things about it i was very open to talk about it um, um i'm here also let's do a little uh energy work together right now and uh and before we close that little conversation we had on on 5d living that is coming to us um, anybody has a question before we continue and I give some energy work without words? No? Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 